My name is Lauren Marinho. I'm a second grade teacher. And I'm Grace Bissonnette. I work with Lauren. We want our students to be as curious as possible. So we asked them, how could you create a really cool sculpture out of your imagination while using coding that we had been practicing for several weeks and using these cool Lego kits that we now had. And a lot of them have a lot of Lego experience and then using found items to create beautiful sculptures. We were just playing around with this machine in there. The mechanism was called grab, and then I just said alligator. And like it's chomping, so. I'm Jeremy Schwartz, I teach middle school computer science. From the beginning, the robotics program has really taken off in the middle school. We didn't anticipate such a uh, high level of interest uh, right from the beginning as we've had. A really positive feature of the robotics curriculum, whether it's at the second grade or the middle school, the integration of making it an interdisciplinary curricular activity where students are combining different aspects of the physical world with the computing world is what makes it so engaging and also, I think, really powerful as a a STEM initiative. Computers are getting a lot more popular. You could do so much more stuff with them now than you could like even five years ago. And I want to be a developer when I grow up, like at Nintendo or Microsoft or something. So if you want to be a developer at a big company, you got to know how to do this stuff. I'm Marcelo Gutierrez. I'm a sophomore. I got to start on engineering and design back in 8th grade with Mr. Milikovic uh, at Kenwood Academy. Since then I've been through remodeling and I've just been learning more about the, the process and the tools that I can use to bring those three models into life. When I came into lab freshman year I, I looked for 3D printers and I found them with Mr. Wildman and I worked on Phoenix. I see these tools and like 3D printers and computer science as really great ways to apply what you already learned in math and science and being able to apply those in new ways to solve problems. And that's what I feel these machines and computer science and engineering and design process allows, uh, allows me to do and I'd like to share that with, with others. Hi, I'm Francisco Dean, creator and director of a newly formed ensemble we're calling the Electroacoustic Ensemble. So the goal was to try to find a creative way to have these electronic sounds exist in an ensemble context, very different from the traditional approach where it's one musician at a computer doing the work by themselves. Here we have a community of people interacting musically just like you would with uh, a jazz band or a string quartet. The process of building the speakers was really um, a matter of cobbling together a bunch of components that were bought off of uh, online sources and whatnot. It was uh, about you know just getting these components and ripping them apart and taking the parts that we needed and putting them together. They're called hemisphere speakers, literally made from IKEA salad bowls. It was a great project for this makerspace initiative that we're starting here with the middle school and high school students and faculty. It was all electronics, building everything from scratch. I was always confused by like how digital music was created and how those sounds themselves were created. Like through this process, being able to see all the equipment that goes into uh, producing digital sounds and seeing the code that uh, creates programs that can produce sound based on like different interfaces, I think was really enlightening for me in this experience. Computer science is definitely a huge part of this. Knowing code itself helps me really understand the program that I'm using and learn how to be more musical with it. With computer science, the kids learn to um, think logically. They're encouraged to do critical thinking, design, be creative, problem solve, identify a problem first of all. And these are skills that can be used in any subject or in any aspect in life. It's important for a school, especially like lab, where John Dewey's entire premise was that we need to be a hands-on learning 
environment where we can apply what we learn. Thank you.